Welcome to the video. How are you guys doing today? If you guys are doing well, then you'll like this video. I don't know what sort of intro that was, but we're gonna we're gonna go with it, alright? Uh, welcome to the video. Today we're gonna be rating the tail end of this TFC series bundle thing that we got going here before outdoor starts. And uh, this is Redbud, aka Buchanan, Michigan, and uh, it's a fun one. I have it pretty high up there, but um, it, for some reason, I'm just not a fan. Going fast on it, it's a little tough for me, I'm not going to lie. It, it gets really tough in some parts of the track uh, more than others, and this, these laps by any means are not fast. These are not burners. These are not absolute heaters that I get on here, but I kind of just end up going around the track and giving you guys a general view of the track uh, so just keep that in mind for future reference i think it's unadilla that has a pretty big mistake in there that i left in but uh it is what it is that is also a mistake right there but um yeah we're just gonna be going through rating the tail end of this uh the series we already did the first one that'll be linked down in the description if i remember to link it so that one um if you guys want to watch the first six rounds, you guys can go watch that one. But if not, these are the last six rounds. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I am against severe allergies right now. So if I sound really bad, that's probably why. And um, yeah, I guess let's hop over and start rating these tracks. This one is Bouquet of Michigan round seven. Overall, I gave it an eight out of 10. It's nice. It's probably better than I thought I would have given it. But thinking it over again, I was like, yeah, it's got to be an eight. It looks nine out of 10. It's really nice, really bright, really... Uh, I don't know there's just a lot to it that i like the ruts are really nice it holds you well erode sometimes it erodes erode uh sometimes it erodes pretty bad but it's good flow you can get a flow down pretty easily and i race on it enough times to know it's not the best track to race on but it races okay so i gave that a six out of ten as well moving on to millville one of my personal um under the radar favorites it's not like my favorite by any means but a lot of people don't really tend to mention this one or want to race it in streams and whatnot but uh this one's always been on on my radar at least i really like it it's been a lot of fun to learn at least uh but now that i'm starting to get it a little bit better and a little bit down if you will it's it's getting there to be you know okay i mean the more i ride it the the least i enjoy it i feel like that is just because you're losing that learning and getting better aspect but um it's got some variations the lines are really different it's got a lot to like but also has a few things that you don't really like uh that second corner there on that little twist turn it wasn't that fun this corner could be a bunch of fun if you hit it right but a lot of things have to go right to get you a heater on this track and a lot of things have to happen if you're gonna absolutely set down a gnarly lap on here you can even double down this hill but instead i kind of take the high point um approach and jump into this inside rut go up i'm still in second gear as you guys see kind of stretch out this bigger triple and then you just can't make that uphill triple that's about as close as you'll probably get on the 250 and if you go all the way left that's probably your best chances at it these two obviously big hills i forgot what they call them it's not horsepower hill because that is washugal there's another one for these ones um crap I, I it sucks i can't think of the name right now but they have a name so that's unfortunate let's look at the ratings uh millville round eight uh overall eight and a half out of ten meaning i liked it a little bit more than redbud looks i gave it a seven and a half ruts five out of uh five and a half out of ten it's not bad um but these ruts like you'll see me skip one at the top of this hill even erodes okay i probably wouldn't have given it a seven if i were to actually you know had a brain cell when i was doing this flows really nicely which you can put together back to back laps it's not horrible and it races pretty good too so that was a good review on that track for sure but uh, the only thing i'd kick down is the erode probably to six and a half or six um then headed on to this track this is washugal personal one of my least favorites for sure this one's not been played nearly uh enough by me to receive that high of a score or to even unlock that high of a score for me the ceiling for this i could have seen it is probably like a seven and a half uh but i'd probably have to spend another 20 or so laps on it to really try to explore all the lines to really get the feel for the track but i probably if i had to guess i've put under 10 laps in total on this track so there is that um probably the least played track in this whole entire series including southwick for me so it's not that big of a sample size i did like a few things about it there are a couple things to like the landscape isn't horrible but i would have done it differently i'm not gonna lie 
Um, this is horsepower hill right here. Get to the top, absolutely. Well, I at least try to scrub over that one, and you're gonna be headed into here. These rollers can get a little squirrely sometimes. I enjoy that outside more than the inside. Actually, I just hit the mic. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. Could have been atrocious, but um, headed back up this little hill here. And then you head into this nice little flat area. And then this is actually really steep. And then you head down into this little 180 here. And um, just go second gear through both of those turns. If you guys race the default uh, the default track, Wash uh, Washougal or Washington, you guys know that uh, those corners can be a little tricky. And you kind of take the same approach there. Uh, you head up over this big triple. And then this you can't send. So I end up rolling it. You could definitely jump off it a little bit, but not uh, not too much or, or like the default track headed up this hill. I always try to scrub, but I can never really get over it. If I scrub, obviously it's a pretty mighty jump there. Head into these few corners. It's nice. Let's look at the ratings. Oh, Wash Google, it's round nine. I gave it an overall six out of 10. Not great. Looks five out of 10. Like I said, landscape's okay. I just hit the mic again. Uh, ruts, six and a half out of 10. They weren't horrible. e was a six out of ten again it eroded uh fine the one time i played it for like six laps the flow is a seven out of ten i can understand if you start to enjoy this track how the flow could be nice and then i think it would race pretty well i have not ridden or raced on this track so i can't really speak from personal experience there but it's nice one of my personal favorites unadilla as trojan likes to call it because he's an uneducated person but it's unadilla over here in um Ah, okay. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say what I was gonna say there. Um, we'll keep going here. That inside is definitely faster, but I just missed it on this lap. This is about my third time through, if I had to guess. Um, lap wise, this is my third try at it, and I just wasn't doing great at all on this. I didn't. When I was riding this morning, I didn't feel good at all on the game, so I ended up just doing a bunch of things. This mistake right here, pretty nasty. I fell there before. So not fun one at all headed back up there's a lot to like about this track for sure uh including this corner that's probably one of my favorite corners in the game if you hit it correctly you come up to it and you can absolutely use it kind of as a wall slash stopper and then get right back on it and then go far enough uh up on the rut that you can actually jump down the hill using it so it's not horrible headed up that nice little jump there we're gonna head in nice little scrub try to stay as far inside as you can without losing too much momentum or speed gonna get over this massive jump normally i like to scrub it a little harder but i was being a little conservative especially on this track where i do like to get a little ahead of myself for sure i had a good lap going until i got to the bottom of this next hill that we're about to go down or it was actually this little inside right here with the few bumps and jumps um as i got pretty squirrely on the way down on this lap but i think i threw a lap away a really good lap away on this um it's not a great lap by any means you could go faster in basically every corner so we'll go ahead and look at the overalls here overall nine out of ten for me looks nine out of ten great landscape probably my favorite looking track in the game uh ruts nine out of ten they really carry you hold you very nicely erodes really well compared to most of them and then the flow is a nine out of ten if you can put together three consecutive laps where you're just feeling it it is immaculate it's awesome it's a great feeling race this track probably the most and it races real well you can make your way up through the pack and it's not rider uh, or it's not lapper proof uh to the point where lappers will just get in your way the whole time so that track is definitely a huge w headed over to buds creek here um buds is nice i guess uh, i've never been a personal favorite just because of the soil type but the track layout isn't horrible itself and and whatnot but i just have never been a fan of this soil type in the game it's kind of like sand kind of a little bit maybe if you want to put it that way but uh these ruts are so nice probably some of my favorite ruts in the game on this track uh you guys see me i do not use them to full effect on this lap either especially in this corner right here where i kind of butt up against that one that corner is so fun and i absolutely did it no justice in this video recording at all and then jumping up this hill that's pretty fun pretty atrocious on the 450 because you have to get it just right and then that rut i just end up skipping out on all the time i don't think that there's a point to take it when there's a straight up alley up that and then this like this corner i couldn't nail for the longest time until i hit it i think it was on a 350 and i hit it just right and then i did it like seven times over again and then i finally got it down uh that's a little bit fun right there you can kind of jump into the rut it's not always on purpose but sometimes it works out to the point where 
it mm. just ends up working out for you, I guess, in the grand, you know, perspective of, of all this. We can go ahead and take a little look-see here at the ratings I gave it. It is a 7 out of 10 track for me. Looks 8 out of 10. Ruts 8 out of 10. Really good ruts. Really good looks. The, the track just looks a little bit different. It's a little bit uh, of a different color soil, but E-Road's not great. Um, flow, you can barely string together two laps without having some sort of gnarly get-off or Poboso physics. Uh, and that also comes along with the E-Road. And then the raceability, it makes for a good race and a very competitive race, if you will. Like you get your hands, get pretty shaky at times, you know, if you're really trying to focus up and, and really put one in. This is a crowd favorite, apparently. This is Iron Man, Crawfordsville, Indianapolis, I think, or, or something like that. I always get Washougal and Iron Man um, confused. So luckily I have not made that mistake in this video, but Iron Man here is a very, very, very fun track, in my opinion. Um, I just hit the mic again, I swear. I just did it. Okay, whatever. Um, goodness gracious, you guys are seeing me in shambles right now. Um, I did actually end up putting down a pretty good lap. I knew I could have gone faster. There was definitely times where I did let off because they are sketchy to try to go incredibly fast through. I got a really good scrub on that, and then I actually don't like using that full rut, so I actually come in about halfway through and then ease my way back in, and you'll see it kind of pays dividends as I go off the side of the track there went second gear backed off the throttle a little early and then didn't get these ruts good at all ended up uh, kind of ricocheting into that rut quite nicely so that worked out okay jumped back up here i've learned my lesson not to scrub there if i'm going to try to gain time shift down to second up here really quick lock into this rut i could have gone through it a little bit better slash faster would have been a better little look see here i tend not to use this rut either so i end up just going inside but this track i can see why it's a crowd fan favorite whatever you want to say it has a lot of flow tempo and fun stuff to it leading us to the ratings i gave it an overall eight and a half out of ten might even be a little low for some people ruts uh, or looks my bad seven and a half out of ten it's very bright and the green is definitely green Rut that's 8 out of 10. You're seeing me hit some of them right now. Uh, E-Road was a 7 out of 10. E-Road's quite nicely up there with the top of this uh, the series. Flow, 8 out of 10. Raceability was nice too. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, liked, and uh, subscribed. I mean, obviously, help me out a lot, and it means a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.